Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Getting to Know Me. So we are going to start our second Getting to Know Me. Last we left off was on number 117, so let's do this. Do you like Marmite? I have no idea what Marmite is. <laughs> Did you ever win any sports day events? I don't think so. Um, I received some ribbons in swimming, but when I was in softball, I don't think I ever won anything. What did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be so many things. I wanted to be in the medical field. I wanted to be a cook. I wanted to be on Broadway, uh, a writer, um, a biologist for NASA. But I think I finally just settled on writer. Oh, and I also wanted to be a psychologist. So I think writer was where we finally ended up. If you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? My weight. I would definitely want to go back to 110. What's the longest you've ever grown your hair? About down to my my sides. Are you scared of flying? Nope. I've said before that I prefer airplanes and I feel safest up in the air. Would you rather trade some intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Maybe some looks for intelligence. <laughs> I'd rather be smart. Have you ever tie-dyed your own clothes? Not that I know of. How often do you buy new clothes? I try to buy new clothes once a week. I know that sounds like a lot, but when you fluctuate with your weight, you kind of need to. Are you reliable? I'd like to assume that I am. Are you proud of yourself? In some ways, yes, I am. In other ways, not really. Have you ever had a secret admirer? Um, I think once in high school, we used to have, um, well, there was one year for Valentine's Day that we were able to buy um, fake roses with pieces of paper on them and you would write to somebody and some you could like either sign your name or you could keep it anonymous and I know one person signed their name and it was a friend of mine but one person kept it anonymous so I have no idea who wrote it I asked around to all my friends and they all denied it so quite possibly if you could ask your future self one question what would it be did we make it did we like basically did we make it? Did we lose the weight? Did we get the family we wanted? Did we move where we wanted to? Did we make it? Do you hold grudges? Oh, yes, I do. I can hold grudges. If you could breed two animals together to defy the laws of nature, what new animal would you create? I would make a cross between a uh, tarantula and a snake. Do you decorate the outside of your house for Christmas? Yes, we do. Can you solve a Sudoku puzzle? I have solved many Sudoku puzzles. Have you ever played Conkers? I don't even know what that is. What's the most unusual conversation you've ever had? That would have had to have been with my mother. Um, without giving anything away, my mother was telling me about one of the times when her sister had walked in on her and my dad having fun. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Are you much of a gambler? When it comes to blackjack, yes. Anything else, no. Um, are you much of a daredevil? No, thank you. I'd like to keep my bones intact. Are you a good liar? Yes, I am. I am a very good liar, so watch out out there. Are you a good judge of character? I'd like to think so, yes. Um, I have been correct about many people before in the past, and for some reason I still don't listen to myself. Um, are you any good at charades? Never played it, so I wouldn't know. How long could you go without talking? I could honestly go, like, it may not seem like it, but I could honestly go for days without talking because I prefer to stay silent. What has been your worst haircut or style? Bob cut right below my chin. Can you ice skate? Nope. Can you somersault? Used to be able to. What's your favorite joke? <laughs> a man walks into a bar. Ouch. <laughs> What's been your best present? That... Uh, such a horrible question because I love most gifts that I get, but I think my favorite gift would have to be um, when hubby got us the tickets for the 80s event. That was that was fantastic. <laughs> What's been your worst present? Probably when I received a duplicate movie that I already had. Have you ever sleepwalked? I don't think so. Not that I know of. Can you build a house of cards? Nope. What's your favorite TV advert? I'm assuming they mean advertisement. My favorite TV advertisement would have to be the one with Gordon Ramsay and those two people in the shop. Use the cocktail stick. I reference it so often. Can you play poker? Nope. 
If your parents hated your partner you currently loved, would you ditch him or carry on with him despite the protests? I would carry on because I love my partner. I love hubby and I don't know where I would be without him. Have you ever been professionally photographed? Yes, I have. Have you ever baked your own cake? I've baked a cake. <laughs> they mean like my own birthday cake, no, but I've baked cakes. What's your favorite fruit pastel color? Probably like a pastel, actually pastel orange is my favorite. I love pastel orange. What traditionally adorns the top of your Christmas tree? That would be an angel. What would be your dream sandwich? The one I build at Subway. It's a 12 foot Italian with tuna, cucumbers, tomatoes, salt and pepper, oil, and that's it. And it tastes delicious. Can you impersonate anyone famous? Um, no, but I can do like cartoon impressions. Um, I can do Snow White, which freaks out hubby. I can do Bridget from FS for Family. I can do Mickey, slightly goofy. I can do Minnie. I can do Belle. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of them. If you guys want to hear them, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I probably won't do them for you guys. Can you do any accents other than your own? I can do plenty. I can do a British accent. I can do an Australian accent, I could do Southern, I can do Latin, I can do... Give me an accent, I could probably do it. What's your favorite, what's your favorite accent? Definitely Latin accents. I love Latin accents. Do you have a strong local accent? I don't think so. I mean, I don't... California doesn't really have one. <laughs> In O's and X's, which do you normally pick? On oh, tic-tac-toe, I usually pick X's. Do you prefer blue or black inked pens? Black. What was the last thing you recorded off TV? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I think It, the newer one, It Chapter 1. Uh, what was the last thing you dressed up as for a fancy dress? That would have to be my Nana's 75th uh, birthday. Do you prefer green or red grapes? I prefer green grapes. What do you like on your toast? Um, butter. Uh, do you prefer liquid soap or bars of soap? Liquid soap. How do you have your eggs? Scrambled. What's your favorite saying? Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Have you ever been in a tug of war? I don't think so. And did you win? Well, how could I win if I haven't been in a tug of war? <laughs> Can you stand on your hands unassisted? Hell no. What do you have on your fridge door? Magnets, invitations, stuff like that. A whiteboard, um, bottle openers. Do you love or hate MySpace? Never had one. Who was the last person to knock slash ring at your door? I think an Amazon person. How old were you when you last went trick-or-treating? 16? Have you ever been bobbing for apples? No, um, the only time I ever had the chance to was at someone's uh, Halloween party when I was younger. But unfortunately, I had loose teeth and I was afraid that my teeth would get caught in the apple and come off. What's your most expensive piece of clothing? That would be some of my jewelry pieces. What's the last thing you took a picture of? That would be this tattoo right here. What was the last thing you drew a picture of? That was probably one of my doodle noodles uh, that I drew with hubby. <laughs> um, it's when we draw at Animation Academy. I think that was the last thing I drew. Have you ever bought anything from eBay? Nope. Oh, well, I bought one thing from eBay, which was a Wii Fit board, but it never came, so I had to get my money back, and I don't trust eBay at all. What's your favorite smell slash scent? Um, anything tropical. Um, nothing too sweet. It has to have some kind of punch to it, if that makes any sense. Can you blow bubbles of bubblegum? Yes, I can. What was your favorite birthday? That would have to be my 20th because we went to Disney all together and it was just a fun day. My 20th birthday it was definitely my, my best birthday. Either that or my 18th because I had a bouncy house. Can you curl your tongue? Yes, I can. Mm. Is your belly button an innie or an Audi? It is an innie. What would be your dream car? Mm. One that runs. <laughs> I've never had a dream car. I like my Honda. Are you left or right-handed? Um, depends. When I'm writing, I'm right-handed. When I play guitar, I'm left-handed. What was the last book you read? 
I believe it was my Edgar Allan Poe book, the one about his life. What was the last song you danced to? I don't really dance to music, so I'd have to say it was probably when Hubby and I celebrated um, New Year's. He put on a song that we danced to. Have you ever owned a yo-yo? Yes, I have. Have you ever been on a pogo stick? Yes, I have. Have you ever been on a space hopper? I have no idea what that is. Who was the last person to send you a text message? It was Harley Baby. Have you ever accidentally injured anyone? Yeah. I've elbowed Hubby once or twice <clears throat> somewhere. Are you scared of spiders? Nope, I own one. Can you down a pint of anything in one? Hell no. Have you ever been banned from a public place? Nope. How much spam email do you tend to get a week? More than I could count. If you could learn any language fluently, what would it be? Spanish, French, and Italian. What historical figure would you love to see in the 21st century life? Either Abraham Lincoln or Albert Einstein. As a kid, were you ever frightened of a monster under the bed or in the cupboard? I'm actually afraid of the monster in my closet to this day. Do you like clowns? Yes, I do. Do you prefer BBC or ITV? I have only ever watched BBC, so I'll say BBC. Have you ever been surfing? Nope. Have you ever been snowboarding? Nope. Who was better, the Beatles or Elvis Presley? You cannot ask me a question like that. But if I were to pick one, it would be the Beatles. What's your favorite type of foreign food? That would be Indian food. I really like Indian food. I don't consider Italian food foreign because it's pasta, but I guess if we're talking that way, Italian food, but I love Indian food. Uh, which foreign country do you dislike the most? I don't really hate any foreign country. I try not to get too much into politics to look at that, but I don't really hate any country, especially because I what I I don't speak about what I don't know because I don't want to because I don't want to say anything that's incorrect. So, do you like your music loud or easy listening? Easy listening. I don't want to blow up my eardrums. What's your favorite animated or cartoon program? That would have to be The Simpsons. Do you sing in the shower? Occasionally. Are you a clean or messy person? I am generally messy, but in a weird way, it's a clean messy, if that makes any sense. What's your preferred playing piece of Monopoly? That would be, um, the one I have has a spindle, like a spinning wheel spindle. Um, those of you who know me can get the reference. Um, other than that, it would probably be the car. Can, can or do you still play Twister? I can still play Twister. Can you play chess? Hell no. Do you know the dance steps to an annoying cheesy pop song? Oh boy, do I. Do you prefer straight or bendy straws? I prefer bendy. Have you ever entered a talent contest? Yes. And did you win? It wasn't that kind of talent contest. All right, guys. So that is it for this getting to know me. Uh, we're going to start with 223 on the next one, which would be do you like poetry? You'll get the answer for that in the next getting to know me video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.